welcome back to Smith Coding and Design. What I have for you guys today, see if I can reach underneath and grab this, is a fifth axis rock lock. So this will be going onto my sile, and we'll see that here in a few minutes. So my original going, going in position was I wanted it to sit vertically like this. However, uh, we'll see here in a minute, there is not enough room between the table and the z-axis way cover so i'm going to have to you know use it sort of this direction horizontally so what i've been ruling with is the pearson palette however it's just getting tiresome making or having to machine a new palette for every you know vice or every little fixture that i want to use so i think for now i'm going to switch to the fifth axis rock lock I do love my Pearson palette, so here it is. Just for the type of work I'm doing right now, I would rather be able to, you know, switch between fixtures quickly without having to, I guess, machine a custom palette. I will be keeping this. Again, I do love it. And I think later when I have, you know, more production type work, I will take the rock lock off and move back to the palette system. It's really nice when you can put a 14 inch palette um, on the mini palette system and essentially uh, be able to use almost all of the X travel on the sile. So what I wanted to show you, so if we look back here, I can barely fit my finger between the gap uh, between the table and the Z axis way cover. And so this is with the Y axis um, essentially um, at its limit. So that will not let me use the rock lock base sort of vertically here because what I wanted to do was take the Pearson palette turn it 90 degrees put it over here to the right and then on the left side here have my rock lock base so I could have the best of both worlds I could use my vices my fixtures over here and then if I needed a palette uh, I would also have that capability unfortunately I can't fit them both on the table just because there's there's really not enough room back here <clears throat> so it's going to have to go horizontally in, in the center there <clears throat> So if we come back over, you'll notice that I have two silver CNC vices, a silver CNC three jaw chuck, and a silver CNC ER call it fixture, and then I have a rock lock base. So why did I go with the rock lock base and not the silver CNC base? Well, when I contacted silver CNC, I told them I wanted uh, the base that has multiple positions. So I wanted to at least be able to get two vices on my zero point base. <clears throat> And essentially, one, they didn't have them in stock. They told me it would be a 21-day lead time. And the price was equivalent to the 5th Axis Rock Lock. But you have to remember, if you order, I believe it's anything over $800 from China and you import it to the U.S., you have that 25% duty you have to pay, which stinks. So that would have actually put the silver CNC base, it would have made it more expensive than the 5th Axis. So I went with 5th Axis. After talking to them, uh, talking to the, the people from Silver CNC, let me see if I can sort of get a good angle here. Uh, the pull studs should be compatible with fifth axis. So you just saw the Silver CNC pull studs. Um, here's the fifth axis pull studs. Uh, they are uh, essentially identical. So <clears throat> with that being said, all the accessories are much cheaper than what you would buy. Uh, at fifth axis if you go through silver CNC. For example, the vices are about half the price uh, for an equivalent fifth axis. So I went with silver CNC there, saved half the price. And then you have things, you know, like this ER40 call it fixture. I think fifth axis wants a thousand dollars for something like this. That's crazy. I got this from silver CNC for, I think it was a couple hundred bucks for that. You know, a couple hundred bucks for the three jaw chuck. And then, you know, I'll be able to easily swap between those fixtures here without having to make, you know, custom pallets. Um, so that's, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on the table and then we will come back to it. All right, so here it is finished. I have my two silver CNC vices on my rock lock. You see the red line going through the center there because I put a permanent marker into the spindle and made sure I could center the, the base as perfectly as I could get it. I made sure everything is nice and aligned. 
So this is what it looks like after it's finished. Again, I have my two self-centering vices on there. One of them, probably this one, will be switched out with soft jaws. <clears throat> Again, everything seemed to go smooth, no problems. Let me know what your experience, experience is with the fifth axis products, if you've ever had any trouble with them, what your thoughts are. If you like my if you like this setup better you like the Pearson palette setup better I'm gonna try this for a while and again if it doesn't work out I will just go back to the Pearson palette I did I also verified that the silver CNC pull studs do seem to work with the fifth axis base um, so that's good so what I might do in the future to save money is just order my pull studs from silver CNC rather than fifth axis let me let me know what you guys think about that as well and with that said that's it uh, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if this helped or if you have any other questions or concerns. And thanks again.